Hello and welcome. I'm Maria Ressa. This is your 6 p.m. wrap. Outgoing House Speaker Sonny Belmonte dismisses talks of any move to impeach President elect Rodrigo Duterte. You know, uh, I don't know why the word impeachment comes, huh? uh, pero let's face it, uh, the chances of that is uh, zero. And nobody would even think of it. Let's give uh, the new president the chance to, to, uh, to run the country without talk about uh, impeachment or anything like that uh, uh, being uh, uh, uttered by anybody of whatever political party. He also denies the Liberal Party is behind these alleged plans. Incoming House Speaker Pantaleon Alvarez claims at least 50 lawmakers from the Liberal Party switched to PDP Laban, which is about half the LP membership in the lower house. Belmonte is still considering whether to join the House Majority or be the House Minority Leader under the new administration. Philippine Ombudsman Conchita Carpio Morales files graft and malversation charges against former Iloilo representative Augusto Sihuko. Morales says Sihuko entered into a 4.3 million peso government contract using his own non governmental organization, Tagipusu On Foundation, Incorporated. The Ombudsman's probe also shows Sihuko used the NGO in 2000 as a conduit to get 4.3 million pesos to finance Chick Boy Corporation's poultry business. The Agriculture Department gave the money to Tagipo Suon as part of the regional office's poultry breeding and production project. Uh, Incoming uh, Transportation uh, Secretary uh, Arthur uh, Togade uh, considers uh, adopting uh, the cable uh, car uh, system uh, from Bolivia to help uh, ease uh, road uh, congestion uh, in Metro uh, Manila. Uh, Togade says it can start in the Pasig area and move on to EDSA using gondolas that can carry 35 passengers. Bolivia launched the world's largest cable car system in 2014, an 11-kilometer gondola system that ferries passengers from La Paz to El Alto. Togade says he doesn't have specific plans yet, but the proposed system can link Pasig to Makati City, with a possible system to Makati coming from Santa Rosa, Laguna. British Prime Minister David Cameron seeks to calm fears over the vote to leave the European Union. Cameron doesn't want to trigger the process to leave before he steps down by September, but he faces pressure from other EU leaders to speed up the process. This comes as nearly 4 million people signed a petition for a second referendum. Cameron says in his words, Britain is leaving the European Union, but we must not turn our back on Europe or on the rest of the world. The pound also drops to its lowest level in three decades against the dollar, while stock markets in the U.S. and Europe continue to fall. Hillary Clinton campaigns for the first time, along with liberal icon Senator Elizabeth Warren. Warren lashes out at Clinton's chief rival, Donald Trump. She says, when Donald Trump says he'll make America great, he means make it even greater for rich guys just like Donald Trump. The Trump campaign blasts Warren as a turncoat for backing Clinton despite their differences on the Iraq war. The Massachusetts Senator is often discussed as a possible vice presidential pick for Clinton. She ramped up her criticism of Trump in recent weeks. That's your day's top news. I'm Maria Ressa. Join us again tomorrow for the day's top news. Remember, tomorrow begins today.